Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of The Crust. And in the last episode, we finally relaid out our base over here. It's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with it. I did, after the last episode, realize I wasn't making any aluminum plates. So I've just gone ahead and set up a little factory here for that. Um, probably didn't need three of these things, it seems, because we're not producing the output, but... I think it's gonna be fine. Urgent contract available. We should be able to do this in 30 days. We definitely have the silicone. We should be able to do this. Let's do it. Hopefully it's good. I don't know if there's a way to like turn off outputs or wait a minute. Why are these not working? It's not getting iron. Hello? Why is this not working? Do I have to delete this piece? We'll try it again. What if I connect this like that? Will it work now? Okay, so that's gonna start making us components. Perfect. Are all of these things still working? They don't look like they're working very hard. Okay, they're working. Okay. I think everything is kind of working. Oh, man. Some of my things are getting full. Maybe we need more iron smelting. It's nine per minute. And this is doing 13.1 per minute. So 20, 30, 40, like 56. Uh, something. 50, 50, 52, something like that. So we should be able to do them all. Oh, we don't have enough battery output. That's the next problem. Okay, well, at least now that we have aluminum, we can start making more batteries. That's not going to be an issue. The next thing is I'm going to start running out of power points here. We, we, we don't have CPU, so um, that's fine, I think. What we can do to get more CPU is we can come back down here. Let's start a new room. Let's start a new room, and I don't know where to put it. Somewhere over here? We'll just build a massive room right here, and it'll be our CPU room, although that's kind of big. Eh, whatever. It's going to take a lot of resources, but... Uh, you know what? Let's not go that big, because it's going to take forever. We need to get more science points stat, so let's do this. And we're going to need to put a door. All right, and we're going to need a power wall. Where's that power wall thing? Here we go. We'll put this on the wall. And then we should be able to just connect that into here. I don't think the CPUs are going to need, um, like, oxygen and stuff like that. I imagine probably not. I'm hoping not. So then we can start shoving these things down in here. Now, they take power as well which is not going to be the best. But... Once they're in there, I think we'll be okay. I just realized some of my things aren't even connected. No wonder it's not working. Some of these belts aren't even connected to anything. This one here is not either. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There. No wonder we weren't able to keep up. Okay, I, I'm trying to turn these things to high priority so that they get more power than anything else. Um, these things I don't really care about. They've got supplies all built up inside of them, so I just don't want the smelters to turn off. Okay, my room is almost finished here, and then we can start upgrading our CPU quantity. I know it's going to take power, but if we can, if we can get some CPUs in here, then we're going to be able to increase our power production. So we put more in here, we can put more power, we can put more in here, we can put more power, and then hopefully we end up in a situation where we've got enough of everything that we can actually start doing some stuff with our um, rare earth metals. That would be the dream. So let's try to focus on that right now. Um, whoops, building, 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 building. Can I start putting these things in here, even when it's not done? It looks like I can. They take two chips. Oh, no. 
They take microprocessors. <laughs> I don't have microprocessors. So... Oh, that is not great. I, you know what that means? I probably have to destroy some of this stuff because we do not have the capacity to keep it up. It's only one per though. I don't know where all of my CPU usage is going. If these only take one per. These guys take five. These guys only take one. Hmm. How many microprocessors do we have? We have nine. So we could build a few of these things just to get us going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So at least that'll be something. We'll, we'll have a little bit of extra juice here. That'll get us going. And then we're going to need to get a few more batteries because we're barely putting out enough output at nighttime to keep up with stuff and now it's going to be even worse likely so i'll plunk down maybe three more batteries should do it for now there we go and we're gonna have around 90 extra cpu capacity here once these get built if they get built they should be able to do i have, do I have the computer chips for those i don't uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to need to start making computer chips. Okay. Let's see. What do computer chips take? I forget. Okay. That's not the thing. There. This is the one. So we got to actually... Oh, my God. We actually have to start the rare earth metal stuff right now. We can't even start making microchips without it. So, we gotta figure out where we can steal a couple bits of power, or a couple bits of CPU. And I put these guys in here, but, you know, they're not actually doing anything, so I can delete them. I just put them in there so that I didn't accidentally cover that area up with something. I can do the same thing with those guys. Um... I don't really want to destroy any of these, but if I have to, I have to. I could probably get rid of one of these without too much grief. Research complete. And maybe we can get rid of... What's our next least most created? Um, I guess iron. Maybe we just get rid of one of each of these things for now. We'll get rid of that one, that one, and that one. Just for now. I could probably get rid of this guy. He takes two, so we'll get rid of him. We'll have one of these only going. I do want to keep these guys, because they're kind of slow. Okay, so now I guess we must have had some chips in one of those machines. So now we have got a little bit of extra capacity here that we can actually start doing stuff with. I don't know where I want to build this. I I suppose what we'll do is we'll just put a bulk storage over here. And we'll set it to rare earth metal. And I don't know if I want two of those. We don't have the large bulk storage yet. A smelting furnace upgrade. Nice. Oh, that's actually nice. Maybe that means we don't need so many of these anymore. Nine per minute. It's still nine per minute. What the heck? The smelting furnace upgrade increases production speed by 25%. How come it's not going faster? It was nine per minute before, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever. We'll ignore it. So we now have our bulk resources getting put into here. We're going to need a... What do we need? Rare mineral machine. We'll put this guy down. I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Let's go here for now. Uh, let's flip it actually we'll go that way 
And for now, you know what? Let's just start with one because I don't have a lot of science to play with. So we'll just start with one. We'll get this thing fired up here. And then we'll figure out the rest of it after. We can come this way with more later. Build. Okay. We need some juice. Connect this guy into here somewhere. Okay. There we go. That is going to start making us the plates and the slag. The slag, I did this on purpose because I want to be able to send the slag this way. And I think I want to tie it into this other belt. So I'll bring it over here and then we'll come down. We'll do something like this. Whatever, it'll work. Something like that. Build all of those. And that'll get rid of our slag problem. This is going to be making us plates. What's the ratio here? 10 per minute. Okay. And this thing only is one. It's only one science. So we could jack this up a bit. Although it's kind of dependent on how fast my guys bring their stuff. But I think it's worth maybe putting at least two of them. Maybe three. Let's try three. Now, one of you guys left me a comment in my other previous video and said that you can put the slag into the machine and then take it out like this, which is super cool. I hope that actually does work. It looks like it's going to. And now we're making the rare earth elements. We should be putting that into a storage. Maybe just a small one. And maybe over here. Okay, something like that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna need power as well. Can't forget about the power. Connect these guys together, bingo. And now we were trying to make circuits. So what does that take? Production circuits. We need silicone, which is here. And these guys, which which we just have. That's going to make a circuit. So somehow I got to get silicone up here. I don't think it'll be that bad. We can actually delete these belts in here. Like so. Maybe I should see what this is. Titanium plates. You need a thousand of those? For titanium rods? I'll think about it. Um. Well, you know what? Our plate production is full. We should start building up titanium bars here very soon. Uh, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. I got to try and get these chips working. So let's wrap this guy around. And we'll bring it up over here somewhere. That's not the worst. And then I just got to figure out where to put all this stuff. Bingo. That should start making us those. I need to make sure we've got this to rare earth metal. Okay, we're making chips. That is the dream. Let's uh, get this storage up here set as well. And connect it right in there. Bingo. No power. We're not making chips. <laughs> no power. Hang on. We can fix this. There we go. Now we have the power. Let's put chips in here. Bingo. Virgin contract available. Can't do that. Don't have a fuel thing. Sorry, sir. It's urgent, but it's not that urgent. There we go. Maybe I should put this thing back now. Now that everything's working again. Hey, finally an urgent contract that we can actually do. Look at that. Okay, we'll accept that one. Uh, let's see, send resources, max this thing out, make sure we've got the big guy. All right, 
there's that our chips are coming in perfect so we should be able to start making some more of these things soon yeah we're just waiting on chips good that's going to give us a little bit more capacity which means we can start building more stuff up here i think we need we still need some more batteries okay so all of that is working the whole goal of this was to get people coming to our planet so we should be able to do the stuff that it wants us to now finally let's see life support kitchen let's get this thing going put that down what does it take to build this kitchen not much okay good 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 and a hydroponics farm hydroponics farm small scale okay we can build this too not a problem can i shove it in here no all right i'll just put it over here for now looks good then what is that it complete the c star contract complete composite alloys Okay, we have some more research to do, I think, before we can start getting into that. Fuel factory. We should probably start doing this soon. In fact, maybe right now. Why not? I just need titanium bars. Um, We could get some down here. We could. Then we could build a small fuel factory somewhere. Um, where do I want to put this? Over here? Over here? Two of them? Maybe we do two of them. And then we got to get these chippies or these bars. I think it's those bars. We should double check. I'm going to double check before I run them all the way there. Maybe it's aluminum. I hope it's not. Okay, here's the other thing. We have 451,000 credits. Maybe we can just buy the stuff that we need. Um, what does it take to build these things again? I forget what those are called. Microprocessors? Maybe we can just buy those from someone. Let's see. Crust Solutions Market. Is anybody selling microprocessors? Oh, they're expensive. They're expensive. But you know what? It might be worth it. If we get like 10 of these things, we can increase our microprocessing power or our CPU by 100. That really doesn't seem that bad. You know? Sitting here thinking about it. What else can we buy? What else do we want? Anything? Maybe not right now. Carbon fiber. Maybe not right now. I think we're okay. Oh, we can buy robots. Oh, robots. How many of these guys do we want? These guys are expensive. Um, where does it say the number? One robot? Two robots. 50,000. Seems worth it. I don't know. Let's do it. Okay, we got all the stuff that we're going to need here. That's going to make us a little bit more productive, I think. Oh, the cargo pod is ready. Hang on. Let's bring these guys in. There's my two little robots. And is this going to be my microprocessors? Good. Director, colonists will come to the base to work, not to relax. Build a fundamental science lab so they can help generate fundamental science points. Smart. And don't forget about the medical block. The healthier our employees are, the better they will be able to perform their duties. Okay, great. Love it. Man, I feel like we're we're on to something here, finally. Let's get our CPU system up and operational here. Oh, that is so good. Okay, that is going to give us 100 more science points or CPU points. It is going to consume a lot of power, though. So we're going to have to keep an eye on our power, but... We might be able to pull this off. I'm probably going to need more solar panels, but now that we have the extra CPU capacity, it might not be bad. I wonder if we need more batteries. Let's build more batteries. And then we can slap down a whole bunch of more medium solar panels. And hopefully we don't run into a power issue. Oh my God. So the fuel factory does take aluminum. I was worried about that. 
So it is aluminum, not titanium, which is not the best because we don't have much aluminum. But the one good thing we got going for us is there is an ice thing right here beside where we're storing our aluminum ingots. So really, it could have been worse. That's, uh, that's not a bad situation to have. So we can use this ice here to make it fuel. And this ice over here can just keep getting pumped into our little people's habitat here. So that's actually, it worked out pretty good for us. Our power supply is looking decent. I don't know if we're gonna get it full throughout the day, but I don't think it has to be full to be able to produce the power that we need throughout the night. So yeah, it's starting to go down now. It's starting to become darker, I think. So it's going down a little bit, but we're at 10 million watts, is that? I don't know what that is, it must be watts. All right, so we made it to about three quarters of the way and now it's starting to be night, but um, hopefully that's enough to keep up with our productions. So that looks good. I might need to add a few more solar panels. And you know what, maybe I'll just do it now so that tomorrow they'll be ready. What do these things cost? Three for one. Oh, see, we're starting to get a uh, negative return on an investment here. Because these things are pricey, but it's okay. We'll get them going for now. Maybe we can... Ooh, there's also an upgrade. I think we're actually working on it right now. There's a solar panel upgrade, which is going to, I think, increase our power productions. New silicon alloy increases the efficiency of solar panels. So basically, we're getting 15% more panels out of the panels that we have already, which is great. Um, so that's good. How do I actually go about getting people here? Colonist assignments? How do I order myself some colonists, you know? We've got food, I think. We've got a kitchen. This takes... Oh, this takes slag. Uh-oh. How the heck am I supposed to... Uh-oh. We got a haul slag here? Is there... A way I can, like, put it into the room automatically? Life support, nothing there. Um, you know, like the way we put the, the way we put the water and the power in. Is there a way I have to do that with slag too? I'm not seeing it. So maybe what we have to do then is just um, put a storage and just bring slag over here. Let's see, slag. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, we could just... We could just, well, delete this thing, get it out of the way. And then just bring that slag right through here. That doesn't seem so bad. Do I have a underground belt that will go far enough to get... I would love to be able to go under here, so I only need one belt. Well, that goes pretty far. Not far enough, but that should still work. Okay, so now I just got to connect that down into here. And connect this into here. And now we're turning slag into food, maybe? How do I get it in here? That's the question. Maybe the robots do it? On. Okay, yeah, the robots are doing it. Well, that's good. Okay, so we're almost back through the day, or through today, and we're just under 50% of the power, so that looks like we're gonna have more than enough power production up at the surface. Um, it still seems like we need a little bit more batteries maybe what do we got here aluminum oh we can actually do that that's expensive 150,000 okay we could definitely do that let's get this whoop let's get this going send resources all of it and we don't need the big pod so let's save some money okay that is that. Now, what do we have to work on next? Build a laboratory for the colonists. I probably don't have that yet. No, it's we're researching it right now. Uh, we were researching it. There it is, Fundamental Science Lab. 
Maybe I'll push it up. Let's push it up to the top. Fundamental science lab. Now the problem is we have no green science, so we're gonna have to find a mission that is going to give us some green science that we can also do here. A hundred green science per 2,000 concrete. I think we can actually do this, but we have 2,000 concrete exactly. Maybe we don't want to do that. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to send all of our concrete. What about our steel? Okay, this one's a little bit better and it's the same amount. So let's do that. Send resources. Bingo. 10 tons though. 10 tons. I got nothing that can haul 10 tons. We need two of these smaller ones here, I think. There's one and there's two. Okay. So that's going to happen here shortly. Hopefully this happens sooner than later. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's starting to go. Okay, perfect. That's going to get us some more green science packs. Maybe there's another one we can try to find really quickly. That will give us some more green science as well. Something easy. Ooh, this one. Ooh, this one's so easy. What? 200 green for 100 silicone? I can't accept it yet because we have too many contracts. But man, we're taking that. All right, so we're halfway through the day. Our power is full, which means we definitely have too many solar panels. So I might actually just delete these ones that we just placed. Um, it'll give us a little bit more science power back or a little bit more CPU power. And we don't need them anyway. So there we go. I might need some more batteries if we start running into power problems again. Generates 20 consumption balance consume. I think we're okay for now. But I do really, really want to go and get that quest. Where was that one? A hundred green science. Is it gone now? Oh no, is it gone now? It, it was like 200 green science for a little bit of silicone. No, it's gone. We lost it forever. Boo. Although this one is a hundred blue and a hundred orange for 60 plates. I think we do that. That's pretty cheap. I'm going to get us a lot of science. We'll get that one going. And what the heck? Didn't I do this? Not enough resources. Titanium plates. What do you mean? Not enough. You have 670. What do you mean? Not enough. We'll just ignore it. I'm assuming it'll go away. We have to do this other one at some point um, because it's taking up one of our slots. But I don't know where we're going to get the nanotubes from. We need 65 of them. OK, we need 65 of them. Can I just buy them? What does it cost to buy 65 nanotubes? <laughs> Probably more than I'm willing to spend. Um, 65. Well, you know what? We're actually going to make money off this deal because we get $200,000 back. Plus we get access to a third contract. So I think we do this. And then we just immediately take those and ship them away. Because I need this contract out of here. All right, we got ourselves a fundamental research lab somewhere. We can build this thing, I hope. Takes 20 power, two science. Does this have to go inside? Let us go inside. I wonder if we put it in here with our other sciencey stuff. Plunker down, see what happens. What does it take to build this thing? Nothing too spectacular. Okay, that's not bad. And that is going to get us our next goal. We've got a pile of research here. I've been just crushing out contracts as fast as possible. Nothing too spectacular to see, but you just come in here. You find a research that you want, something that doesn't take that much resources. <laughs> something that's easy to get like this 200 and 200 for 75 and 50. How could you not do this? Oh, except my stupid 
quest lines are full. No. I need this in my life. Contract availability time. See, that's what happens. If it goes away, then it's gone. Malachite heavy engineering. We got to get one of these contracts out of here. As soon as possible, please. I don't think we're going to do it. I got to stop taking on contracts and leave one spot available for when something crazy like that happens. Because that's so much. That is so much science. That I'm just going to have to let go now. Alrighty, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up right there. Set up a medical block. I guess that's what's something we have to work on next. I'm not sure what that even looks like, but we're going to wrap it up for now. There's got to be a medical... Indoor ventilation... Medical block. We're going to have to research that, but... Okay, guys, we're wrapping it up right there. I hope you are loving the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I... We'll see you next time.